Gary of the circus. Or Jerry of the circus. Well, fine, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, that was all right. Oh, yes, <laughs> Jerry. Hey, did you see that last jump, Whitey? <laughs> you bet I did, Jerry, and a mighty clean jump it was. Eh, yeah, come on now, better put Splendor up. He's had about enough. Okay. Uh, there. Boy, I bet he could go on jumping all day if he had his way about it. Yeah, I suppose so, but you mustn't forget that he hasn't been having so much exercise lately, and too much all at one time isn't the best thing in the world for him. Yeah, I know. You know, you've sort of been neglecting your duties with this little colt. Well, it's been weeks since you've taken him for a ride. Well, Jiminy, I've been so busy with El Mundo and doing my act and everything, I just I haven't know, had time. I know, I know, Jerry. Yeah, you have been busy. Well, come on now. Come on, Splendor. You know, Jerry, I, I can't get over the way you ride. That is, considering that you haven't been at it steady. Don't I ride all right? Well, you just bet you do. Why, if you'd practiced as much with Splendor as you have with El Mundo, well, I'll venture to say you'd be as good a horseman as any of the Russoffs. Oh, any old time. You're just saying that because you don't like Boris. Not on your life, Jerry. No, sir. You're right at home up in the saddle. Oh, sure. I like to ride. And it's easy for me now. Well, maybe someday you'll get tired of doing that act with El Mundo and do a ride and act with Splendor. <laughs> maybe I can do both. You mean do your act with the elephant and then turn right around to a ride and act, too? Why, sure. I'd be a circus all by myself. I'll just <laughs> bet you'd like to at that. Oh, I'm only kidding, Whitey. <laughs> hey, here, Splinter. Right up here to the line. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, just tie him up there. Yeah, I'll get his saddle off. Oh, you had a nice run for yourself, didn't you, Splinter? Uh, you want to get his bridle off, Jerry? Uh, sure. Easy, Splinter. Hold still now. Yeah, there we are. Should I uh, put his blanket on? Nope, I don't think you'll need that, Jerry. It's plenty warm under this horse top. He won't be catching cold. I sure hope not. He's had his share of being sick. Uh, more than his share for a little fella. Yeah, we come very close to not having Splendor during that spell of his. <laughs> Don't I know it. But you sure did your share in helping him get well. Yeah, I'll never forget how you stayed up all night taking care of him. I'd do as much for... You know, well, for, for... For me, huh, Jerry? Oh, sure, or anybody. <laughs> that a boy. Hey, Whitey. Uh, hello? Is Jerry back there with you? Uh, yeah, come on back at the far end. Who is it, Whitey? Uh, I don't know, Jerry. I couldn't get the voice. Oh, I see who it is. Yeah, who is it? It's Jack Hastings. Oh. Uh, hiya, Jack. Hello, Jerry. Bob Stratton finds you over here. How are you, Whitey? Okay, Jack, okay. Uh-oh, you got your camera with you. It couldn't be that you're going to take some publicity pictures in the horse top. No, not this time, Whitey. Well, what have you got the camera for, Jack? Well, that's what I was looking you up for, Jerry. I've got a few extra plates, and I thought I'd take some pictures of you and El Mundo. No fooling. That's right. We can get a couple of good ones out of the lot. Mr. Randall said I might use them when I set up the new program. There you are, Jerry. Getting famous already. Uh, say, Jack, uh, why don't you take a few pictures of Jerry uh, on one of the horses here? What for? He's not doing a riding act. No, he's not, but that's not saying he couldn't. That's so? You bet. Uh, you should have been here a few minutes ago when he was uh, taking Splendor over those hurdles out back of the tent. A horseman, too, eh, Jerry? Well, I can ride a little. <laughs> quite a little, Jerry, quite a little. Well, how about it? You gonna let me shoot a few pictures of you? Well... Uh, I can go, can I, Whitey? As far as I'm concerned, nothing more for you to do around here. Okay, then I'll see you after a while. Goodbye, Splendor. All right, Jerry. I hope the pictures turn out good. They will. I got a good subject. Meaning me, of course. No, meaning El Mundo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Say, I'd better stop by the wagon and put on my uniform, huh? Yeah, that's the ticket. You know, Jerry, 
If we can get a real good picture of you up on the elephant, Mr. Randall might use it next year on the big outdoor billboard. Hey, that would really be something. And my name on it, too, huh? Certainly. Jerry Dugan, youngest elephant trainer in the world. Say, that sure sounds good. I'll bet I'd stop and look at one of those billboards every time I saw one. Well, you would at first, but like everybody else, you'd soon get used to it. Yeah, I guess that's right. Well, here's my dressing wagon. Uh, I'll hurry. Okay, Jerry. I'll go on over to the menagerie shop and get set up. Jack? Jack Hastings? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Say, you look pretty swell in that costume, my lad. Thanks. I washed up a little, too. <laughs> yeah? Well, you didn't think about your hair, did you? Oh, gee, no. I've got a comb right here in my pocket. I use it every performance, just before I go on. Ah, there. Uh, there, that's swell. You look all right now. Hey, there's Olsen standing over there in front of the menagerie top now. Olsen! Uh, who is it? Oh, Jack and Jerry. That's a break. Now you can give us a hand with El Mundo. Uh, as though we needed any help. Oh, excuse me. I forgot that you're El Mundo's trainer. Hello, Jack. Hey, Jerry, what's the idea of the costume? Well, you Mind see... if I take a couple of shots at El Mundo Olsen? Shots at El Mundo? What are you talking about? <laughs> he means he wants to shoot some pictures. Oh, so that's it. Sure. Shooting him with a camera won't hurt him none. Uh, come on in. I thought maybe I could get some good publicity pictures of Jerry and the elephant. <laughs> uh, want me to get El Mundo out back in the sunlight? No, that won't be necessary, Olsen. I've got some flash bulbs here in my case. I can get some good pictures right here under the menagerie oh, top. Right. Besides, I'd like to get a whole line of bulls in the background. Um, uh, did you say flash bulbs? Yeah. Why? Well, now, wait a minute. I I'll have to move those zebras then. Why, Olsen? Oh, because those little critters just won't stand for flash bulbs going off. They'll start stampeding and cutting up something awful. Well, I don't want to put you in any trouble. Oh, it's no trouble, Jack. Hey, you fellas, come over here and take these zebras out back while we uh, take some pictures. Okay, boss. Yeah, right away, boss. Well, they'll have them out of there in a minute. Okay, thanks, Olsen. Yeah. Hey, is that a new camera, Jack? Nope. It sure looks new. I keep it that way, Jerry. <laughs> That's all he's got to do, Jerry, just take a few pictures once in a while and keep his camera shined up. Oh, sure, that's all. Just that and a couple of hundred other things. <laughs> well, well, the zebras are gone now. You can start your picture making any time. Okay. Now, Jerry, get up on El Mundo's head. I want to see how this is going to line up in the camera. Okay. El Mundo. Desconzo. Desconzo, El Mundo. <laughs> yeah, that's the boy. He doesn't know what to make of it doing a show this time of day. <laughs> that's good right there, Jerry. Hold it. Still now. Oh, that looked like a good pose. Yeah, that was all right. Now, now sit down on his head, Jerry. That's right. That's right. Now, now, now put your right hand up in the air. Right there? No, straight over your oh, head. Over your head, Jerry. Lean forward a little. That's right. Now hold still. Say, that was a peach. Yeah, nice shot. Now what? You can get down now, Jerry. We'll take a couple with you in front of El Mundo. Okay, here I come. Watch me. <laughs> See him slide down that trunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty clever, all right. Hey, can I use your crop, Olson? Uh, oh, sure, Jerry. Here you are. Thanks. Uh, now, you want me to make him sit up? Yeah, that's the idea. We'll take one with you right under him. Okay. El Mundo, say on to say. Say on to say, El Mundo. There. How's that? Good. Good, Jerry. Hold it. Oh, that was a dandy picture. Okay. El Mundo, Descanso, Chrono. Hello, what's going on in here? Hey, fine. You're making fire. Hello, oh, hello, Fancy <laughs> Boy. Sorry. Hello, Wilson. And Jack Hastings. Well, that explains the flashes of light. Just taking a few pictures of Jerry and El Mundo. Uh -huh. We saw the light flashes and came to find out what it was. Well, that's it, Jerry. Oh, is that all you're going to take now? That's all the plates I have, boy. We'll take some more some other time. Okay. Oh, hello, Patsy. Hi, Jerry. Hello, boy. Say. Oh, what's the matter? Gee, Boris, where did you get that black eye? What? Well, I'll be... <laughs> Look at that. Well, you see, I... Well, oh, 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 Boris was going into his wagon after the performance yeah. last night, and, oh. and it was dark, and he ran into the door, Jim. Oh, yeah. uh, isn't that what you told me, Boris? Uh, yes, uh, yes, that is exactly what happened. Uh -huh. uh, for the performances, I put a little makeup on it, and it does not show. Well, do uh -huh, I see. Uh, generally, it's a bedpost, ain't it, Boris? <laughs> Come on, sure. now, well, now, that's not fair. <laughs> Well, Jerry, what now? Uh, where are you going? Well, uh, I better get back to the wagon. Well, come on, then. I'll walk over with you. Uh, you coming, Boris? No, oh, yes. Yes, of course. Goodbye, Jack, and thanks a lot for taking the pictures. Okay, Jerry. I'll show them to you as soon as we get them ready. Uh, don't forget. Uh, goodbye, Olsen. So long, Jerry. Well, you're sure, surely getting to be the star act, Jerry. Having your picture taken all hours of the day. Come on, let's go through the side entrance here. It takes us closer to the wagon. All right. Hey, uh, have you seen Bumps? Yes, a little while ago. 
He and Frank are doing their weekly washing. I guess I really ought to give Rags a bath, too. It's nice weather for it. Now, here we are. Oh, thank you, Boris. Not at all, my little lady. Say, it is quicker to come out this way, isn't it? Sure it is. I know the shortcuts. I guess you do, Boris. Hey, there's your sister, Boris, there on your wagon stand. Oh, yes, and I must see her. Uh, Olga, wait, I want to see you. Uh, excuse me, please, Patsy. Surely, Boris, go right ahead. Uh, Jerry can escort me now. All right, goodbye. Uh, goodbye, Jerry. See you later, Boris. Go on. What is it, Boris? Wait. What do you mean, wait? Go into the wagon. I do not want to talk here. Now close the door. Close the door. All right, all right. I was just walking around a lot with Patsy. I noticed that. Patsy tells me that she's going to buy an annuity with the money she received. An annuity? Yes, it's a, it's a form of insurance. And once she puts the money there... You will not be able to get it from yes, her. Yes, that's exactly it. No matter what she does with it, I do not think you are clever enough to get it from her anyway. Olga, I do not like remarks like that. It is true. You have failed, not only once, but twice. First, you try to take her into the family to get her money, but she turns you down. It is not so. It is so. And the truth hurts your ears. Olga? Wait. You listen to me now. You have tried by yourself long enough. I know women. I know how to appeal to her. Oh, you must listen to me, Boris. We must work together. Ah. You make a fool of yourself, letting that rouse about give you that black eye. You have nothing more to try. No more schemes. And you have one? Yes. And I think a good one. What is it? Oh, you are willing to listen to me now. Come, what is the plan? A woman likes to think herself smart. She likes to believe she's as good with business matters as a man. Yes, yes, all right, that is true, so? Why not appeal to her business judgment? Make her a proposition to invest her money for great return. What would that be? What is it you want most? A circus of your own, yes? Certainly. Well, then tell her to invest her money in your new circus. Tell her you are going to start your own circus in Europe or somewhere. She knows there is a lot of money to be made with a good show. Mm -hmm. And the plan sounds very reasonable. Uh -huh. I, I have it. I will tell her we're going to take a circus to South America. And for her $20,000, I will make her a partner. I'll get that money from her yet. <laughs> 